Hello, hello, and welcome, good people. Uh, unfortunately, as you can see by the title, today is a video that I did not want to have to make, but my favorite unicycle, the A2, is down and out for the count. I'm going to tell you all about it. Um, so a couple of days ago, I was driving through this here grass field, you know, not too much incline, nothing crazy, driving around 20 mile, 20% uh, battery, going about five miles per hour when um, the wheel just straight up cut out on me, right? So I had the light on, it was nighttime. Before I even realized the light had turned off, I was on my, on my knees, on my face, right? So clearly uh, something was wrong for it to cut out. I took it home the following day. Uh, I went to go test ride the wheel again. I rode it around for about 10 minutes. At the very end of the ride, um, riding in the street, going around 10, 12 miles per hour, it cut off again, um, dropped me once again. So at this point, I'm like, okay, something's clearly wrong. It's cut off twice in two rides. So what do I do? I try it the following day because I love this wheel. I can't get enough of it, right? So I try it a third time. And this time it's a little bit weird. I'm able to ride the wheel for an hour straight. I rode for eight miles yesterday. Um, no beeps, no cutoffs, no, no nothing. So I captured that video. I captured that whole ride on recording because I obviously wanted to have camera proof in case it did cut off, um, except it didn't. Now, later that night, I was going to the store. I'm thinking, okay, the wheel's fine. Literally, I get to the store. I ride my wheel to the store. I record the entire thing on my phone because I'm like, okay, I might cut out. It doesn't cut out. I get a bunch of groceries. I'm carrying my groceries back. Of course, the one second I wasn't filming, it cuts out for a third time. So here we are today. Uh, I've gotten in contact with James and Next Gen Mobility. He has suggested a few things. He just suggest, he suggested first that I upgrade the firmware. So I'm going to be doing that today um, with you guys. But first, I just wanted to go for a little ride to see if I can capture the cutoff once and for all. Um, and to be fair, I did walk my wheel the entirety of the way here. I did not ride it. Um, and this is the first time I've stepped foot on the wheel. And I probably should be in more gear considering I know I'm about to cut out. But um, yeah, I figured, hey, if I cut out, you guys will see it too. Um, let's go. And it's really sad not to trust this wheel anymore because I love this wheel. And it's really strange, right? So I go on the Bagode app and every single sensor metric on there is all green. The gyro is green, the motherboard's green, the MOSFETs are green, the lock sensor, all that shit is green. So I don't know why it's cut off three times in a row now. And it's strange because it turns on and acts normal the entirety of the, you know, every time. And for further context, um, when I did cut out those times, the wheel has been off every time. I don't know what the wheel being off versus on and still beeping signifies, but the wheel didn't beep in either of the situations. It just turned right off. Now, so I've ridden the wheel four times now. It's cut off three of them. The only piece of evidence or coincidence that I can string together across the encounters is that the one time I was able to ride for about an hour, uh, it was during the daylight. I didn't have the light on. So my hypothesis now is that maybe I have a sticky button, um, sticky power button, but the thing is, if it's a sticky power button, the wheel is not going to cut off in motion, right? And you can test that, and I have tested it by walking with the wheel while I'm holding the power button, and it doesn't turn off past like one mile per hour. So that shouldn't be it. I don't think it's a firmware thing because I've ridden this firmware, you know, for damn near 500 miles now. Um, so, yeah, I guess the best scenario I should do is turn on the light and see if that has any effect on it so let's turn this guy on it's on I guess you can see it I can't really see it. it's daytime but I'm expecting a cutout it's a weird feeling to not trust the wheel and all these times I haven't been doing anything weird it's been riding the wheel 
the last time it cut off, it was like, I hadn't even been on the wheel 20, 30 feet and it just turned off. So you would have thought that it would just cut off by now, but I was going slower than this. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, it's getting a little windy. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm gonna just shut up and ride. And if I cut out, it'll be captured. And you'll see my reactions. So. Test the sticky button hypothesis a couple times. Give it a couple mashes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. sticky button hypothesis proves to be correct. Did you see that, fellers? Sticky button. Okay, so to recap, two of the times that I cut out, it was, I guess, pretty soon after turning on the light. I think we just found the culprit. Let's try it one more time. So we got the wheel going. Sticky button culprit. I'm gonna top, press it a couple times. Lights on. Okay, there it is. Okay, so we found out. We know why it's turning off. Um, I'm gonna go update the firmware and see if anything changes, but I'm not too confident. Um, yeah, you heard it, you seen it here first. All right, so I was just able to demonstrate um, the ability to cut off and back-to-back -back encounters um, from the sticky buttons. What I got now is the Bigodi app. I don't know if you can see this at all. It's the first time seeing this, but we're gonna go. Okay. And we go to the old Bigodi app. A2. Oh shit. God damn it. Okay, so. If you've never done a Bagodi firmware update, it's the most annoying fucking thing in the world. This thing is gonna beep like this, loud as shit, for like four minutes straight. So if you're in an apartment, don't do it inside. So I'll be right back when it finishes. Also, don't let your phone turn off. You wanna watch this, make sure it stays on the whole time. But I know it's loud, so see ya. All right, the moment of truth, we're at 97%, 100% upgrade successful. Okay, so we have a new firmware on here. Now, I'm not expecting this to fix a sticky buttons problem at all, but we're gonna be testing it out and just see how it's different. Um, so wheel starts up just fine. Is this dumb, riding this wheel? I have no idea. Okay, so I really don't care how the firmware rides. I just wanna test the sticky buttons. So in the grass, um, light is on. Riding a couple feet just fine. I'll give these guys some room. All right, now watch this. Double tap the light three times. I'm fucking terrified. Nothing. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it again. All right. Uh, tap it a couple times. One, two, three. Oh, oh! I just felt it. Okay, okay. It just dipped on me hardcore. I'm not even gonna fuck with it anymore. It's it just dipped on me super hardcore. I'm not gonna make it cut out again. Um, there's definitely something wrong. I don't know what that is. If you have any experience with a problem like this, definitely let me know. My suspicion is that it's just a blown motherboard and the very first time that I ended up cutting out, something in it blew. All right, so as you saw, my prediction is that the very first time that I cut out, uh, something was damaged on the motherboard and now it's having a problem uh, switching the power supply between the light and the, and the wheel itself. I honestly don't know. I'm not an electric guy. Um, but I do know something's wrong and I hope that I can get it taken care of 
quickly um, because this is my very, very favorite wheel and I absolutely love riding it. So I'm going to sign off for now um, and we'll hope it gets fixed soon. So say goodbye, little man. All right.